Consider the following Boolean expression f equals a plus c times a plus b plus c bar times a plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar. We want to simplify this using Boolean algebra. And normally, if this was not a Boolean expression, we'd have quite a long job expanding out these brackets. But with Boolean algebra, the laws of Boolean algebra actually make this a simpler problem. Because one of the very useful laws of Boolean algebra says that if we have p plus q times p plus r, this is equal to p plus qr. And this will come in handy here when we look at the first two brackets, for instance. So that, for example, a is common to both those brackets, so it will become a plus the other terms there, which are c, multiplied by the other terms in this bracket, which is b plus c bar. So that at the first step, it becomes a plus c times b plus c bar, all still multiplied by a plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar. Now, before we go any further, I would then simplify in the brackets here to see if we can reduce that first part down further. That becomes a plus c b plus c c bar times a plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar. And c c bar, c and c bar, that is equal to zero. Hence, we are left with a plus cb plus zero, which just becomes a plus cb. And that is still multiplied by a plus b bar plus c bar plus d bar. But we can actually apply this general principle of Boolean algebra again here, because this bracket and this bracket have a as a common term. Therefore, f will now become a plus the product of the other terms in the brackets, which is cb, multiplied by our other terms here, which were the b bar plus c bar plus d bar. Now, once again, we can just expand the brackets in the ordinary way to get a plus c b b bar plus c b c bar plus c b d bar. But we can even go a little bit further with this because c b b bar, that will become c times zero. Similarly, c c bar b is going to be b times zero, and that's all plus c b d bar. And since these terms here, c times zero, b times zero, are just going to be zero, we're left with f equals a plus zero plus zero plus c b d bar which hence simplifies finally to give an expression of f equal to a plus c b d bar.